So we've got three of the Powers electric guitars coming. I'm just going to start off by just having a quick twang on all three of them. So this one has the full Faraday pickups and the Camtel bridge. So let's check it out. Let's go clean first with a little bit of slap back delay. drive on there now. You can hear with a lot of these kind of guitars that have more twangier, kind of brighter sounds, they can often sound really nice clean, but kind of be a little bit wimpy or harsh when you're overdriving, but that is certainly not the case with these, with these guys, so. Okay, so next up is a guitar with the partial Faraday pickups. So you're gonna hear straight away, they're kind of a lot brighter sounding, kind of a little bit more kind of traditional rock and roll kind of sounding, but I love both sets anyway, so. Let's give it a twang, see how it sounds. Let's try with that uh, little bit of slap back delay again. Having that kind of extra muscle is kind of making me play in a different way to what I did on the, uh, on the last guitar. So let's see how it sounds with a little bit of drive. Let me turn that slap back off, go for a little bit of drive. <laughs> Right, so let's get out the third guitar now and see how that one sounds. Okay, so this is the third and final guitar. So this guitar has got the full Faraday pickups, which you'll hear have definitely got kind of a slightly darker sort of sound, still really nice and punchy, but definitely different to what we, we heard with the last guitar. And what I'm also gonna do is, when I get a bit, little bit of the drive on, just gonna show you how well the guitars all clean up from the volume control, so I'll just back it off a little bit here. And also, Mustn't forget this guy here, the tone control. This isn't just a normal kind of high pass filter. Uh, when we saw Andy over, over in uh, El Cajon, he said that they really worked hard on this to 
make it as flexible as possible so you can just get a load of different tones out of the guitar without any kind of muddiness. It does reduce some high end, but not like a, you know, on a typical you know, solid body guitar when you roll down the tone control, it can get quite muddy quite quickly. So I'll just show you a few, uh, few different clean tones and then we'll go from there. So this will be the slap back again. <laughs> So I'm just going to roll the tone back to about halfway, so let's see how that sounds. I'll just put it back on full again. So let's go to halfway again. to the bridge pickup now. So this is full tone. I mean, I don't really want to change that. That sounds just so good as it is, but I might as well show you now. So halfway. Right, we'll add a little bit of drive in now, and I'll go to a slightly longer delayed kind of thing. So let's go full tone on this bridge pickup. Let's bring that down to about halfway now. Actually, we'll go a little bit lower than half. Let's try that. Try that now with the neck pickup. So neck pickup, nice and bright now with the tone on full. Right, and we'll bring that tone back now a bit. going to bring that tone back up but I'm going to roll the volume down a bit here so we're about two or three on the volume so I'll crank that all the way back up again and roll that tone back So I'm not adjusting any pedals or changing anything like that. That was just literally a case of just cranking the volume back up and rolling the tone back. So you can go from really bright and snappy, right here. Quiet.
quite thick and full, even on this bridge pickup. Well, I better stop there, but I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Which, uh, which pickup set you like. I personally love both, and I could easily end up with two of these guitars. So, if that, Andy, if you're watching, I'll be happy to take two off your hands. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed watching. If you've got any more questions, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and all that wonderful stuff. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye-bye.